Hey everyone, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. I got no fancy um, audio or anything tonight, but I want to show you uh, something. I'm in a, a like a, a building here that has a bunch of lights. It's nighttime, and I brought a whole bunch of lights to kind of show you what a great light does versus what a iffy light does. Just as you're kind of thinking about buying a handheld light, you know, I think that a handheld light is an absolute necessity for all people, private citizens, law enforcement alike. And I want to talk about what a great light does versus what a mediocre light does. And I think that here's an interesting bit. When uh, when you want to talk about an, a mediocre light, what they'll do is they'll talk about lumens and they'll talk about, you know, they'll show you what those look like when it's pitch black. Um, and almost any light will do well with that. But I want to show you here. I'm going to walk out towards Trigger. I, I was here doing some other stuff at an appointment and I'm gonna walk out this door and we're gonna go out here where it's not nearly so well lit. And as we do that, I want you to see, I'm gonna start to show you here, this is a very typical environment that has, uh, it's a public environment, it's nighttime out, it has some well lit areas and some not well lit areas. And this is where you really can see the difference between a high quality light and a cheapo piece of crap. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's active self-protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. You can Now again, maybe you had to park your car and I'm gonna show you kinda what different lights we're talking about today. Now all the lights I'm gonna show you today, um, I've bought, right? So I'm not showing you anything that was given to me or anything like that, I bought them. First one I'm gonna show you, this is old school, right? Streamlight PT1 Lima. This is a single CR123 light, runs about 275 lumens. A few years ago, this was considered the bee's knees, a little dated today. This is a pistol mounted light. It is a Streamlight TLR1HL. It's not the brand new one. It's not the thousand lumen version. This is the old, old version, 630 lumens. Again, bought this one on Amazon a number of years ago. This one is a PowerTac ES. RG4. They actually sent me this one. They were trying to get me to endorse their lights. I'll show you why I'm not actually going to do that. An Olight M1X. I know you see Olight all over the place and a lot of people are huge fans of it. Um, we'll, talk, we'll see what it does. Streamlight Fury Tactical. Big head, big reflector, big light. And finally tonight, a Mod Light OKW. This is just, again, probably the most expensive light I've ever bought. Certainly the most expensive handheld light. I've ever bought. Uh, this particular one with the OKW head, you can get the PLHV2 head as well. There's all kinds of stuff on that. Fancy light. So I'm gonna show you three problems today that you might have to solve and three places you might wanna throw some light because you're in a handheld environment, you're just searching, you're looking. I'm not talking about shooting somebody here. I'm talking about identifying and seeing is it safe, is there things. First one I'm gonna talk about is right back here. You see that I'm in a lit environment, I got a bright halogen on me, but right back behind that van, there's a dark spot. If that van is where I'm going, do I am I able to see back behind it? Second place I wanna look at is back in here. So I have a bright light right here that is pointing in my direction, and then behind it, I have a gate. I can't see behind that right now, but I wanna see behind it. Third one's a farther problem. So again, I'm standing in that similar or same bright light. Across the street over here, you see the car that just went in. We have a parking lot. We have a wall back there. Somebody may be on the other side that I just wanna see. Is that some way I wanna go? Can I see that? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab each one of these lights in turn. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the ones that take 18650s. I put a brand new, fully charged 18650 in it. Uh, the ones that are CR123s, I've put a brand new CR123 in. So we'll see it at its best and see how they do. Now I'm gonna tell you what I see from this Mark One Mod One eyeball. Uh, I've had LASIK surgery, I have very good vision with my eyes. I had LASIK like 14 years ago though. Um, and, um, but I don't know that the camera's gonna pick up exactly what I do, but let's take a look. First one, old school, PT1 Lima. Again, we're trying to see back there. Show up on it. Now, I can tell you, I don't know if you see a big difference there. I can, if I turn it off, turn it on again, I can just barely see that there's a plant back there. Not a whole lot, but I can barely see it. From a, a distance here of, I would say, oh man, maybe 40 feet. Second problem there in the middle is 25 yards away, hard to see through those gates. Again, the PT1L, I can't see any, actually I see a little bit of splash on the building on the outside, but when I try to see the center there and see what's there, no change. Across the street, trying to identify what's over there, 
literally again. You can hear me turn it on. I think I can see it here on this a little bit, but when it tries to cover that distance and get back, it just can't. All right, now we're gonna do Streamlight TLR1HL. Again, this is not the um, brand newest one at 1,000 lumens. This is like the old, old one, 630. I know this is a pistol-mounted light, but I wanna show you what this level of illumination can do. So let's take a look here. I will say I can see that well now. I can see that definitely better. Turn it off, very dark. That's It's hidden by the shadow of the van but I turn that on and I can absolutely see that that's a bush and that there's not a human behind it uh, with my eyeballs. So from short distance, not bad. Longer distance, same thing here. Now, oh, I definitely noticed a difference there. So if I go away, I can see a little bit, but getting all the way through that and back to me, kind of difficult. Uh, added a little, but not a lot. Okay, now we're seeing all the way across here. I'll say it illuminated that that wall a little bit. I think you can see that on the video too, as I see it. It did illuminate it a little. It's not, you can see the car parked across the street that it, it hit the uh, retroflective license plate um, pretty good. And I don't know that it, it is illuminating much. It's making the light colored wall a little easier to see. I'd say that's a distance of maybe 45 yards. Power tack. E 5RG4, could they make that harder to remember? I don't know. Again, if I'm seeing this guy though, I've got a good illumination here. I'd say it's about probably the same as the TLR1 in terms of what I can see back there, but I can definitely see it. 10 yards away, 12 yards away, yep, easy day. This 25 yard light with a significant photonic barrier in front of it, man, it really dissipates. I can see a little bit better. I can see the light colored stuff. Um, through that window getting back to it a little bit more. I think you can see that there is a little bit better, but it gets splashed out quite a bit. See it across the way here. Yeah, it gets washed out a lot at this distance. It does add a little bit. I would say it's about the same as the TLR1. It adds just a little bit of light to that light colored wall. So I might be able to see something across it, but I don't know I'd be able to identify a whole lot. Okay, now on to the Olight. This is the M1X. Um, I don't know exactly how new this one is. It's listed at a thousand lumens. Uh, they don't list their candela or anything like that though. So here we go at our 10 yard or so, and I can see very well. That is a Excellent. You move up to that thousand lumen range, you definitely get a big bump in what I can see at this level for sure. Now looking to try to get to see in there, definitely lit up a lot in there. So there you can see no no real discernible hot spot. It doesn't have like a real centered hot spot on here. And I can see through that light at 25 yards or so and into seeing what is behind that uh, gate pretty darn well from here. Now then, it really starts to dissipate a little bit here. So I think um, you can definitely see an improvement. No question about that. I can see it better. You can see the fact that you can't really see that bush in the middle. And then when I hit it with the light, you really kind of can see that bush. Um, it, it's definitely an improvement. And I would say better than any of the other ones before. Hard maybe to identify that bush, but it's definitely there. All right, now a Surefire Fury, I turn it over to you, Fury Tactical. This is with the, uh, the 18650, I think a 1500 lumen light. Um, if memory serves me correctly, don't quote me on this, I'll look it up. Uh, I think around 20,000 candela. So definitely does some stuff. So if we look back there again, I light that up, man, I can see that like bright as day right now. Like I get all the identification there. I can see individual leaves. I can see super well. Now my problem from about 25 yards, now I can see in there and it's like brightness again. Again, I don't have a real uh, a dead spot here, uh, but that, that light pointing at us doesn't hurt me a bit. I can see it super well. There's the difference again, can see right in there real easy with my eyeballs. So we can see pretty dark back there. And now when I light that up, man, I can see so well in there. That is so much better. Boy, you can really see a difference and see not just the uh, backstop there, but you can see the actual plant too. And I can even see a tiny bit of color in it. That's pretty significant. All right, finally, Mod Light, this particular one, uh, the OKW head. 
and uh, this guy's only 680 lumens, but 69,000 candela. So again, lumens being a measure of how many light photons are being put out by the, um, the, the LED, but candela being how many of them are collated and stuck out the, in one direction. So again, from a 10 yard view here, we've got that. And my gracious sakes, I mean, it's light and day. And you can even see on the video there how green you can identify the plants there. So you gotta, you definitely have to kind of direct it because it is definitely a collated beam and individual. Actually an additional problem with this person that's parked there, but there it goes 25 yards. And now you can see, boy, I can see that brightest day. And again, you can even see the colors through the, the visibility with that. It's such an incredible beam. Okay, across the street, now we can see. And again, man, it's amazing how well you can see that. I wanna turn that off to let these cars by. I don't wanna blind anybody. But you can see so well. Now, in order to see differently, right, I have to actually kind of move the light. But it is amazing how far that throws. In fact, I can go even farther back all the way to that building back there and you can see I can throw all the way to it and identify the stuff back there too. So it's an interesting one. I think that you got to kind of, of course, talk about your budget, right? Because if you don't have, I mean, this guy's like 350 bucks and no, I was not given this. Yes, Big Tex Outdoors sells them and Ike is a friend and they're incredible stuff, but I bought it, bought it retail. Um, and, um, the Surefire one, actually Surefire did send me, gosh, what about 18 months ago? I haven't heard boo from them in a long time, but, um, they did give me that light. And I think it's a great light. I mean, you saw how it performed. Um, the, the less expensive lights you get into the O light or, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, sometimes you go, wow, 70, 80 bucks, whatever. And, uh, maybe it's, it's a good light for me. But what you start losing is you start losing things at beyond like 10 yards. So I think what we saw is that everything at 10 yards, other than that little bitty um, Streamlight PT-1L, will identify stuff okay. But it's when you start getting out a little farther. And remember, the farther out I can see something, then the more likely I can um, avoid it or give myself more time, more time gives me more options. So um, there's a reason I keep this in my pocket. Uh, I think it's a good light, but budget does dictate. I just wanted to show you kind of, again, this is a very typical, way of being in an actual suburban environment, real lights, real photonic barriers, and this is how lights really perform.